Hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are going to do a level up your yoga flow. So gaming is all about leveling up your character, leveling up your weapons, basically leveling up everything. So that's what we're going to do with our yoga today. We're going to talk about three steps, three key things you can do at any point in your yoga practice to take it to that next level. To start though, we'll get our Mula Bandha breath going. Always want to have our Mula Bandha breath in our vinyasa practice. So good for you and just tons of fun. So coming to an easy seat, you're going to start here with that breath. So inhaling, think about breathing to your low belly, your low diaphragm, and breathing in a 360 direction. So inhale here, and then as you exhale, you're going to squeeze and lift all of that air out, falling up all the way along your spine, exhaling through your nose. It's kind of like you're squeezing a tube of toothpaste, you're squeezing all of that air in and up, and that's how you're going to start activating your deep core line and your deep core muscles just with your breath. So inhaling here, exhale. Think about trying to fog up a window or a mirror with that exhale, but you're exhaling through your nose, not through your mouth. And that's how we get that big ujjayi or victorious sound with our breath. All right, so keep that breath going through your entire practice. Um, that is one way, of course, you can level up your flow. It's just by putting that breath into everything that you do. Um, but we're gonna talk about, like I said, those three key things, uh, foundation, core, and expression. So foundation is gonna consist kind of, of two parts, surrendering and grounding. So whatever your foundation is, whatever you have on the floor, that's what you wanna surrender to, and that's what you wanna really make sure that you're grounding into the earth, into your mat. So we'll start by doing just a simple rolling up to mountain pose and kind of go through these steps. So your foundation right now is going to be your feet. So that's what's touching the earth. That's what you really want to ground into the mat. Make sure that you have solid foundation here so where your feet connect to the mat. But you also want to surrender to that. So you don't want to do your mountain pose. I mean, you could just have six straight legs and just lift up, but then you're not really leveling up your yoga. So you want to ground into the earth with your feet, surrender to the earth, make sure you have that strong foundation so you have the balls um, of your feet really grounding into the earth under your heel and under your big toe and little toe, really lifting up from there. So you're pressing into the earth, you've surrendered to the earth, you're really lifting up, receiving that energy from the ground as you lift up through your deep core muscles. So that's where we get into the core. We're lifting up through all of our core strength, our actual core and abdominals. And then you come into the full expression of the pose. So the full expression, lifting your arms up to the sky and exhale, hands to your heart center at Namaste. So that works for all yoga poses, really. So you have whatever's on the mat, on the earth, grounding and surrendering to that lifting up with all of that power through all of your deep core muscles and then expressing your final expression of the pose whatever that may be it might not be like the you know yoga magazine image that you see sometimes but you've gotten to it in a true way building from the ground up in a healthy alignment for your body and that's how you're leveling up your yoga as you're doing your yoga so again if it's on the ground, you surrender, you ground, that's your foundation. Lift all of the energy up through your core and take all of that power and alignment into your final expression of the pose. So we'll take that through a vinyasa so you can kind of see what I mean, how it works in all of your poses. So we'll come into a down dog. So here in our down dog, now you could just, there you go, down dog. Or you can really think about, okay, my hands, those are part of my foundation now. They're on the mat. So you have strong fingertips, strong palms, really grounding into the earth. Your feet here as well. You don't have to necessarily worry about pressing your heels down. Just uh, under, the, under your toes, really grounding into the earth. And part of the surrender here for our foundation is some bent limbs. So we can get healthy alignment from our spine. That's going to be our core. So we've got strong foundation here. We've surrendered. We wave long through the 
spine. That's going to create space for our neck and shoulders. Give us that opening in our deep core. And then your final expression of the pose after you've built that healthy alignment is then kind of extending the arms and legs and letting your heels sink towards the mat. And that's your final expression of your down dog. Now you've just leveled up your down dog pose. And then from here, waving forward to plank, bending knees and elbows, so really deep bend. Here's your surrender. You're grounding into the earth with strong palms, strong feet, waving yourself forward through all of your core strength, and then coming into your plank pose here. Now again, same thing. We're going to surrender as we lower to the earth. So come onto your knees. We're surrendering, we're grounding towards the earth, firmly planting here. Now you can inhale, prepare. Now you see you have a lot of foundation with this one, a lot on the ground, so inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up through your core strength. Now we're in our final expression of our pose, coming into a cobra. You can always come to a low cobra if that feels better for you. Or if you're warm and feeling really good, even an up dog. But the important thing is you're starting with that surrender, with that grounding, with that prep for your foundation, rolling in and up through your core, and then expressing your final version of this pose. And then same thing, going to down dog. Now we have a lot on our, on our foundation. We surrender, we ground, we lift in and up through our core. You can stay on your knees and tuck your toes to come back to down dog, or really lifting in and up through that core through pointed plank, back to down dog. And full cycle, of course, or full circle. You can have that bent knees and elbows, wave your spine, and then sink back into your final expression of the pose. And of course, as you get more used to it, you don't have to always go so slow through everything. You can just kind of think about making those tiny adjustments just as you're going. So you have that slight bend, you kind of get into a flow and it all connects. But you're thinking about your foundation and your core before coming into your final expression of the pose. Well, there you have it. A few simple ways to level up your yoga practice no matter what yoga pose you're doing. Just thinking about your foundation, whatever you have that's on the mat, that's your foundation. Surrender to it, ground into the earth, take all of that power, lift it in and up through all of your deep core line muscles, and then come into your final expression of whatever pose you're doing, and then kind of settle into that for a moment. You can take that with each pose, you can take it through each flow, and it's really going to help you level up. And of course, doing that Mula Bandha breath is another great way to activate your deep core. Wow while breathing, which is something you need to do anyway. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson, that little mini flow. Definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat again though, so make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, get notifications with the new videos that go up, and then I do have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list, so make sure you're subscribed there too. Namaste.